Um, tourism needs to improve its competitiveness in order to succeed in the future. And in order to do that, we need to employ technology in a strategic way to understand and engage with consumers and also to engage with the local industry and engage with the local resources. So the research that we're doing in Bromley University on the tourism lab is about interacting in a dynamic and agile way with consumers using social media and using real-time technologies to ensure that they've got an enriched tourism experience. And in order to do that, they need to engage with the local communities, engage with the local resources, and have a more meaningful experience by understanding better what are they experiencing. So when you've got, uh, when you've got resources like Gaudi uh, buildings, you've got uh, local culture, you've got local cuisine, cooking, whatever, um, you need to explain to people and engage with them on how they can experience that and bring them closer to the resources, explaining what they are about to see and perhaps giving them the opportunity to get engaged in, in, in the activity, perhaps cooking something, perhaps going in with an expert on Gaudi and looking into how you are restoring some of these uh, facilities. So technology enables us to create this interaction, uh, connect with the local resources and the local people, and have a more meaningful experience at a deeper emotional level. And that, I think, is going to enable destinations not only to differentiate themselves and improve their competitiveness, but also to provide more satisfying and emotional experience that will enable consumers to choose them, enhance their differentiation, and allow them to, to build a, a longer-term relationship uh, with, with the place. Social media is um, enabling engagement and interaction in a dynamic way. Social media is not going to change tourism in the sense that it's not going to take people away from the main attraction somewhere else. But people who have been to the main attractions and they've done these things, or people who would like to engage deeper in conversation with specific resources, they've got the opportunity to actually go farther and enhance this experience at a deeper level. For example, I was in Hawaii last year and at some stage I want to see um, the Hawaii 5.0 film and how it's, uh, it's filmed and where and things like that. So I connect with a lot, a, lot, a, lo a lot of local people who are actually engaged in that, in that process and I had the opportunity to see some of the things that you would not normally be able to see because I connected with the local network and I think this, this is the social media bringing to the, to the game the ability to connect with local experts and local people uh, and interacting with authentic resources and authentic um, experiences. That's something that the tourism trade does not offer. Having said that, the, the connection is happening at a non-institutionalized way. It's a peer-to-peer -peer connection. And the peer-to-peer -peer connection is uh, by definition chaotic and by definition very dependent on subjective connectivity and, and interactions. Um, so that will provide a new reality for tourism and I think those destinations who understand how to manage that and empower that will take advantage in the future.